Leicester University is laying more than 50 wreaths to mark, along with the centenary of the founding of the university, set up in 1921 as a living memorial to people who died in the university said this was to symbolize its commitment to peace. In a statement, the university said, the red poppy, which recalls the horrors of the Western Front in the First World War, is a well-known and well-established symbol of support for the armed forces community and remembrance for lives lost in all conflicts. Some of the wreaths laid in the region included white poppies, which represent a commitment to peace and in finding non-violent solutions to conflicts. The move follows a decision by the BBC to allow its presenters to wear white poppies in the run-up to Remembrance Sunday this year, but senior military figures have said it is an insult to the country's war dead to replace the traditional red poppies with white, or even use both flowers together, during commemorations. Colonel Richard Kemp, the former commander of the British forces in Afghanistan, said the use of the white poppy was an insult to Britain's war dead. Mr. Kemp said, the white poppy is intended to undermine the sacrifice the red poppy seeks to commemorate. Use of the red poppy is a means of showing respect and gratitude to British and Allied troops who gave their lives fighting for their country and is entirely apolitical. The white poppy is a political symbol used by anti-war campaigners. It is sold only to raise funds for their propaganda campaigns. Colonel Kemp added, intertwining the hard left political symbol of white poppies into wreaths of red poppies is a direct insult to our war dead. Lord Richard Dannett, former chief of the general staff said, traditionally, we have embraced the red poppy and used it on our clothes and in our wreaths as a symbol of remembrance of the sacrifices made in war and I don't see any reason to change that. Lord Dannett said there was room to recognize the sacrifice of civilians in wartime, but that to use white poppies alongside or instead of red ones would detract from the remembrance of soldiers who died in defense for their country, the Telegraph reports. He said, it's a separate issue to recognize the diversity of those who lost their lives and we have not always got that right, but there's no need to interfere with the recognized symbols of remembrance. The Peace Pledge Union, which is holding a national alternative remembrance ceremony in London's Tavistock Square on Sunday, welcomed Leicester University's initiative. It stated, it is another sign that more people are rejecting the myths and misconceptions around white poppies and appreciating that they are a legitimate symbol of remembrance. This year we are seeing an increase in the use of white poppies, whether as part of official ceremonies or in additional events. Leicester University defended the decision to use white poppies and other white flowers in their wreath. Kerry Law, Chief Marketing and Engagement Officer at the University of Leicester, said, Our poppy pilgrimage serves as a fitting tribute to the founding legacy of our university, and has allowed us to once again recognize the sacrifices made in our region.